Weehawken through Secaucus across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC, as it'll be the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the New York Jets. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Now a late signee let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. They run it again with Cook. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That good for 19 at a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. The tight end in motion right. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. So from the 37, here's second and two. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he gets it down to the 32. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Karloftis brought his relentless motor from Purdue to Kansas City. Six sacks, a couple fumble recoveries as a rookie. They expect him to continue to expand his game in his second season. Now a give running right, it's Cook. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. Well, now they'll start three yards shy of midfield after that long 57-yard miss. Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on him. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes it's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, and he's probably saying, if you can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. Second and nine. A man who re-signed with the Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Now third down and seven. From midfield, here's Mahomes. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. 
Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. Escaping the pressure right. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he is not going to get the first down as he'll spot this at about the 28. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. Waiting on it will be Richie James. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Now McKinnon to start the drive. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down and a little more than a yard here. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's got the connection to Moore. We're scoreless after one. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. But whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's the result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands, and oftentimes the receiver turns around, and there's the ball. Nice completion there. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. First and goal, forget running the football, forget establishing anything. Just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play.
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. On second down, Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Wilson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now that sets up third and two. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. And sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. What an advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And they will take over first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Mahomes to throw on second down. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. He may go. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. Zerline good with a PAT. And we are tied at seven. Seven now as they kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's second and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. 
eluding the pressure. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. Well, there was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving him exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. On third down, it's Pacheco. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. Jets will take over. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Second and 10. Here's Wilson. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now Wilson. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. To throw again is Wilson. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. Trent McDuffie in there to get him. It's a loss of five. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. And he is going to lose yardage here. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Here's second and seven. Mahomes going to throw. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Toney. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. More the man in motion. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and off play action. Here's Mahomes. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Oh, 
partner just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. From the 48-yard line, here's second and five. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man right side is Tony. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Mahomes now to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to kick it away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They're going to drop him behind the line yet again, and things going from bad to worse. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Well, coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. Third and long, it's Wilson. Flushed out right. And he'll even avoid the contact in the end as he will finally slide to a halt. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. Cook up the gut. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 48 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Finding Hardman here over the middle. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Final minute now of the third quarter. On second down, Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. They go play action with Wilson. Got a man, that's Lazard. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally.
It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. From the gun, it's Wilson. Touchdown, Jets! Tyler Conklin from four yards out. And the Jets have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And we see James, he will now return it and they'll bring it out to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And the Jets are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. In motion right, that's Hardman. Oh, a fake on the jet sweep as they run with Cook up the middle. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's a big There he goes, left side. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And let me tell you, that wasn't as easy as it looked. Dancing away and moving forward for six yards. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. Here we go. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. It's a game of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They go play action now, Wilson. 
And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Jets have opened up a two touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Touchdown to kick. And this taken in at the goal line. The Chiefs offense are not set to begin this drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Now Mahomes. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. John Franklin Myers, the one in there to drop him. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. A hit as he throws there incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. First down, Mahomes finding Kelsey. Kelsey imposing as well. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. They come up now on second and two. Mahomes will throw. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Mahomes. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. 
And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. And while it's probably going to take a miracle at this stage, if they come down with this one in the end zone, they've still got a fighting chance. That one, however, winds up incomplete. They'll come up now on second down. Here's Mahomes. A dump down to McKenna. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Well, this crowd doing their best to make a lot of racket. It's third and five. Mahomes. That's going to be nothing. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure, with under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. Will the defense pressure or sit back? Here's fourth and five. Now the homes got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. The New York set to take the field. And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off. And there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Gets it to Hardman, a jet sweep. And he will have a Jets first down, and that should just about do it. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. with victory seemingly in hand they take the knee clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the JETS as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.